Hey there, Facebook friends and family. It's Dawn Del Vecchio coming to you from Sedona, Arizona. And I just did a YouTube live on this sort of this planetary situation that's going on, this astrological situation with um, the eclipse season, the energies happening around that, as well as the five and soon to be six planets in retrograde. Hey there, Susan. Thanks for jumping on. Thanks for being on my YouTube as well. So I want to make a video now. I don't want to fully repeat what I did, but there was some value in there that I feel is worth sharing. But what I would like to do here is actually deepen into the context and explore more of the questions and uh, around what may be going on for you personally uh, right now in these challenging times. So I want to invite you to stay with me till the end and also please share this with your friends as I begin to unfold this if you see relevance or you feel that this may be helpful to other people. Because again, my role, my goddess marching orders, so to speak, is that I've got to show up because there are some people that I have soul contracts with to, to work with. So if I kept hiding like I used to a couple of years ago, then nobody can find me. So uh, if, you know, if your intuition guides you to share this with someone or to share it on your, your Facebook uh, news feed or whatever, then do that. So, uh, okay. Either way, I love thumbs up and hearts. So if you, or let's see, hearts, if you can give me some hearts, that'd be great. And so now I want to drop in, I'm going to drop into that, that way that I go into uh, whatever that is that lets me connect to some guidance so that I can share more clear and direct with you some information and then we'll unpack that as it, as it comes out. So, <sighs> there's an acceleration of energies happening at this time. We have known many of us some for many, many years, that these are the times of great change on our planet. We have been asking for it and calling for it on a sort of soul level planetary scale. We have lived almost as prisoners, we humans on this planet, and yet simultaneously in a way we have created it. And this is the time, this is the time that has been heralded for a long, long period the time of the age of Aquarius, the great awakening is at hand. And with that comes great change. Those who are comfortable with the status quo, even if the status quo is deeply uncomfortable, don't really like change. And yet changing we are. Wherever you look outside and perhaps even within, you will notice that change is at hand. And when change becomes rapid fire as it is right now, it becomes, it is like a, I keep getting the image of a, someone riding a surfboard. The way their core, their core strength has to be incredibly strong. And I'm not a surfer, so if I'm wrong, correct me here, any of you surfers out there. There has to be a core strength that is immovable and an ability to flow and flex that is graceful like a palm tree in the wind. And this is the energy we are being called to embody right now. And we are being called to embody this no matter what shitstorm comes our way. <sighs> now, astrologically speaking, there are some heavy hitters going on. And that is not going to ease up anytime soon. Of course, it's waves, just like that surf analogy again. It's not like it's just intense all the time. But basically through the 20 to 2020, 2021, we've got some big hitter configurations that will be coming and already have been hitting us, so to speak, energetically as a frequency on the planet. And these are the energies that facilitate transformation and awakening. And we know if you've watched my previous video with the jar of poop, which wasn't really poop, it was just dirt, if you've watched that, if you haven't, please go watch it because I explain a lot of stuff there about how all of this stuff is impacting people individually. So if you watch it, you understand that as we have increase of frequency of Mother Earth and the in increase of solar rays and all of these heavy hitter uh, planetary influences, what happens is that 
people who don't have the skills, abilities, or tools to manage their own emotional, energetic, mental states are going to have a harder and harder time. And if they don't have the tools of personal response ability, they're going to throw their shitstorm all over the place. And that might be at you. And uh, those of us who have been on the receiving end of that know that it's required a level of coming back to center, coming back to center, coming back to center. Where's my responsibility in, in this? How can I own my own um, creation of the energies that are bringing this forward such that I can pour love into the situation? Where is my forgiveness practice, my ability to come into the center? So... Let's dial this more specifically now because, again, I talked a lot about that in the previous video. So if you haven't seen that, watch that. Now let's talk about this specific window of time, which uh, has already been happening since Mars went retrograde. Oh, I forgot, in July. And uh, in a couple of days, we are on Jul August 1st today. August 7th, uh, Uranus is going to go retrograde, and that will make six planets in retrograde. And then on August 11th, we will have the third eclipse in this eclipse season. And it will be impacted by Uranus. And again, Mars is influencing this and all of this. Again, no astro geek speak here. Just know, suffice it to say, that there's a lot of energy that we can either feel overwhelmed by or we can use like surfers on a surfboard and say, I'm going to ride this wave, and I'm going to ride this wave with a core strength that's grounded and rooted in love, and with a flexibility that lets me flow like a surfer, like a palm tree in the wind, like a fish in the water. So retrograde. When we have planets in retrograde, we are invited to do all of the things that begin with the word re. Reconsider, remember, review receive, reclaim, reactivate. Did I say reactivate? Um, review, I said review. So these re words have to do with uh, not taking action moving forward. It's more like, okay, I'm going to look at everything that's going on right now in my life, in my mind, in my relationships, in my emotional state, in my business structure, in my personal structure of how I do my life, in my job, etc. And I'm going to review things. I'm going to consider what needs reconsideration, what needs reclaiming, what need, where do I need to be more receptive to guidance? What needs restructuring because it's too chaotic, too discombobulated, too noisy and busy and too messy? That is the best use of your energy at these times. Now, this being said, especially with all these planets in retrograde and especially Mars in retrograde, the, the, the possibility, the likelihood of frustration is very, very high. Now, I consider myself to be a very emotionally even-keeled person. I haven't always been that way, but I've been working on myself for a long time. Not a lot of things get my goat, so to speak. And I found myself in the last couple of days, not so much today, but the last two days previous to this, having these moments of like intense frustration where like, Rah! about silly little technology things or miscommunication. And I was like, okay, but I know what this is. This is this whole Mars retrograde energy and the Mercury going ret retrograde. So misunderstandings or having to go through things very carefully over and over again just to get the simplest thing done. So if you are experiencing any of these things, understand, first of all, the bigger context that this is um, expected in these times. So you could either let yourself get carried away with your own emotional charge around things, your own frustration, or your own um, letting other people blow their their truckload of turds on your back on your front porch, you know, and and go, oh my God, everyone's being so unkind to me. Or you could say, look, this is a time when it's better to just hold still, not move forward on any new projects. But review what already is going on, review where I need to communicate differently, review where I need to maybe release some old rage in a safe way, um, 
clean up some messes that are in and some incompletes in my life or my work or my business or my relationship and um, sometimes just hold my tongue and re you know receive divine guidance reconnect with the heart space breathe into your heart space call and ask your guides and angels for help in holding the peace holding you know keeping the peace with your tongue before reacting too intensely and um, just take a pause on anything that is feeling too pressure oriented or too energetically toxic right now so I'm just noticing here how what 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 can be shared further that's not a reiteration of the last video it's like I'm feeling I'm seeing in my mind's eye an image of many people women men children all colors all sizes all shapes all ages standing together with their hands on their hearts and breathing together and I feel like that's what we really need in these times because I know that the people who do not have the school skills tools and resources to work on their inner selves are going to start projecting they're already projecting their stuff outwards and we can counterattack we can use our strategic minds to counterattack to show them how wrong they are how uh, how righteous we are and all of that and none of that does a, a bit of good because people who lash out people who blame play the blame game people who want to name you as the, the problem in their lives are doing it because they have no better resources and it is our response responsibility to hold the love the light of love and also protect ourselves so I'm not saying to go out there and just you know give 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 to people who are attacking we can hold we this is that whole thing about boundaries with compassion boundaries with compassion Sometimes we have to pluck people from our energy field because they are not managing their own energy and they are trying to take us down with them. And we can, we can do that in a loving way, we can do that in a gentle way, but we have to do that also in a very clear, self-respecting way. So, but I, this, this sense of the unity that's happening on the planet, that as this ch great changeover is coming, as this change in ages from the age of Pisces, which also is about victim, martyr, blaming, and saviorism, to the age of Aquarius, where we are the ones we've been waiting for, unfolds. Those who want to cling to their toxic dance of victim, perpetrator, rescuer, they are going to have a harder and harder time. And though, But at the same time, more and more of us are awakening to the truth of our oneness and love, and we are coming back to the space of love, to heart-centeredness. And so we have to find each other. We can support each other, even if it's just at an energetic level. Even if it's just, I see you, sister, I see you, brother, and I hold the light for you. And I know that you're holding light for those who, can't, who, who are in your field, uh, your sphere, whether they're suffering or struggling or whether they're actually also light bearers as well. So I see this vision of many of us breathing from our heart space, holding the light of love for those who are not yet able to do it for themselves, not because we are rescuers, not because we are giving our power away, but because we are in our core strength. And we are anchored in the frequency of love. We are anchored in our true one divinity. And we are holding that light for ourselves, for the divine to flow through us, that we can also help the raise of the frequency and support more and more people to awaken to the nature of love, to their true nature as love. And so during these particular times, at least until really the beginning of September is when we'll start to see a shift, is a great time for you on a practical level to go into your meditations, receive divine downloads, receive divine guidance of what your particular specific path is, and to rework anything that's not working in your practical world, whether that's a business, a job, a relationship, a way that you go about structuring your day that just is too discombobulated and needs some better way to move forward. When, if you take this time now to do those re-words in your life, 
you will find that come September, you'll begin to get tra traction in the direction that you were intended to head without so much obstruction in the way. Okay, so I'm going to leave uh, this for now, and I want to offer each of you much love, light, and blessings on, your, on this period of reflection. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. So again, uh, my request is if you would please share this with anyone who you feel might benefit. Please like this. Please forward it. Please share it on your Facebook page if you feel so inclined. And much love until the next divine guidance for me to give you a message here. Mwah. Love for now.